Welcome back to Detroit Garage. Well, we finally got around to making the adapter for the 453T. What we're doing is using a deer housing and the ZF6 and adapting the ZF6 to the uh, deer Detroit. Uh, and when it's done, it's going into the diamond T. So this is an old uh, 453T I've got laying around. So we'll use that as our uh, test rig. And we've got a, a 7.3 adapter plate that's an eighth of an inch. And this is a half inch plate I just stuffed underneath to get an idea. So I've made the adapter already. I'll show the steps I, I went through making that. It's, a, it's just a test adapter out of aluminum to one, get the depth right for the adapter plate and two, line up the transmission to the adapter plate so when I drill the holes, everything lines up. To make it easy, I bought a piece of clear plexi that's 3 8 So the adapter plate will be 3 8 and the uh, spacer about a half an inch, roughly. And I also purchased a half uh, 3 8 plate steel. So, <clears throat> Of course, the ZF6 does not fit this deer housing, so we've got to make the adapter plate and make it all as one so this transmission is solid. And uh, therein lies the challenge. So let me pull this off, and um, we'll, I'll show you the adapter I made and the processes uh, I had to go through to do that. In the end, what I'm going to end up with is a hardened steel adapter like this one, a spacer between the crank and the flywheel. And this is a 6.4 crank adapter. So what I'm gonna do is try to reuse this. Uh, I just dressed it here slightly, just to dress it up a little bit, but uh, that's the plan of attack. Plug these holes. Maybe weld them, maybe not, and then redrill it to the uh, crank of the uh, 453T. We'll get little Jimmy and Alice fired up, and we'll come in and lift that transmission off. So that's it right now. That's obviously too high, but we're going to turn that down as we get the adapters finished, the adapter plate finished. And then uh, I just wanted to check, get a rough idea how that sat. So lots of work to be done with this, but we're going to plug these holes and then re-drill them for the uh, Detroit crank. And that's what it looks like. So I got to knock this off. And here's the 6.4 adapter. And that gets adapted to this crank. And then redrill all the holes. I think. <laughs> this all might be a big fail. But we're gonna give it a go. This could this could be one big fail. But we're gonna try it anyway and see what happens. <laughs> so the adapter I made, it's about an inch thick. That's it. 
This is an old piece I made for the 5R110 just to, again, uh, a template or, or you could call it a prototype. So this is the clear acrylic. I'm going to use that to transfer the hole. That should work really nice. And use a jigsaw to cut it out. Well, there's a plexiglass laid down. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. So, <clears throat> I think I can recover another quarter of an inch. This step here is one quarter inch. Um, so I'm going to talk to my buddy there and see if we can do that on his mill. Shave this lip down a quarter of an inch and that'll save me a quarter of an inch on the adapter. Uh, well, not the adapter, the spacer plate. So the spacer plate will be a quarter of an inch instead of a half. And I like that a lot better. Um, I'm going to work with this for now and then uh, see what I think when it's all said and done for the adapter or the spacer. Because right now, <clears throat> this is what we have. We have an inch right now. So that's got to go uh, a lot shallower than an inch. All right. We've got the plexiglass down, we've got the ZF6 adapter in place, and we're just going to sit the transmission down and see how that looks. So I can shave about a quarter inch off that adapter now and that'll make it just about right, I think. See if the so <clears throat> it is sitting on the 3 8 plate. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So I'll lift it back up and shave the spacer, see how it looks. Spacer. That should work pretty nice, I think. Of course, this is all trial and error. It's still a little thicker than I wanted, so I talked to Chris and he says we could probably shave a quarter inch off of this. And that'll drop the flywheel closer to the engine.
Okay, so <clears throat> I took about a quarter eighth of an inch off. We'll set it back down and see what happens. Sal has two, so he's, she is, uh, there we go, she's centered perfectly. Now, another quarter. So, just trials and tribulations. <laughs> I'll call the video trials and tribulations. So, we're going to uh, lift. I'm going to center Alice up so I can just lift and drop without screwing around. So for now, what I'm what I'm doing is using this bushing to, to determine the depth of this spacer. The final spacer measurements will include the starter as well. We need the proper engagement of the starter on the starter ring. So I, I don't have a starter for it just yet, but I'll I'll get one in a I'll get one in a week or so. But for now, we'll just play around uh, getting that centered up, and then I can do this adapter. I'm sort of doing both the crank adapter and the. Uh, The crank adapter and the housing adapter all in one. So what we're going to do is dial this in, get it positioned, and then uh, drill the holes. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Slowly getting there. So I'm going to drill the holes to bolt the plexiglass to the deer housing and once that's done I can then transfer the bolt holes for this and then we can uh, then we can take this and put it on the 3 8 plate uh, adapter. <clears throat> Alright guys so we made the uh, adapter and set the flywheel in we've basically got it so that we can center the transmission and drill the holes for the adapter here's an example of another plexiglass template i made uh, for the 5r110 to a number two housing and that's how i did it with that transmission I put a pilot hole in here and set this down and then transferred the holes and that worked really nice so we're doing something similar here so we're gonna call this part one of a multi-part video I'm not sure how many parts it's gonna take to get it done but uh, so we've got the crank adapter essentially done roughed out anyway um, enough that I can use it and then now we have to work on the housing adapter and that'll be part two. I hope you enjoyed that video guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.